So for this video, I want to go all the way back to the very, very first steps. For everybody who likes watching music theory videos but is an absolute beginner, not sure where to start, first of all, welcome, very glad you're here. Let's get started with a few things that are great even if you've never done anything with music before. First thing I wanna recommend is you have an electronic keyboard. If you don't already have one, now is the perfect time to get them. They are so cheap. You can buy them even brand new for as low as $50. So go and do this. You're going to get an incredible amount of use out of them and they are lots and lots of fun. It's a wonderful instrument and it is the perfect instrument to learn music theory on. So assuming that you have that, and if you don't, you can get a, even look at an online keyboard and you can do the same thing. You can follow along and then as soon as you have a chance, yes, get your keyboard. All right, so have a look. The first thing you wanna know is when you're moving up the keyboard in terms of notes getting higher, the notes are going to the right, and when the notes are getting lower, they're going to the left. So here's an example of notes going up, and here's the sound of notes getting lower. The next thing you wanna know is just looking at the white keys. When the notes are moving consecutively, they are called moving by step. So let's have a couple of examples of notes moving by step going up. And here are some notes moving down by step. Every kind of movement on the white keys that isn't by step is moving by leap or by skip. The two terms are completely interchangeable. You can have a small skip such as this, you can have a large leap, such as this. Either way, it is a leap, as long as it isn't consecutive. The third thing you wanna to start to dabble with is taking a group of three notes that are separated by every other note. You can play them separately, up and down. You can play them together. However you wanna do it, that is a chord. Now, even just with this amount of information. You can start already creating songs. You can create original songs. You can create songs that are already very famous. Here's an example. That's one of literally thousands of things that you can discover or, as I said, start creating on your own. Already the world is your oyster. So start with that. The next thing we want to start to get to know is the letter names of the white keys. And when you know this, you're going to be able to follow a lot more conversations and learn a lot more. So let's jump in with that. These are the note names on the keyboard. You notice it goes A to G and then it just keeps repeating, moving to the right, just as if we were reading the English language. Now you can learn these notes one at a time. Then you've got seven pieces of information, but I like to do it in a way that I think is much easier, and that is we're gonna make them two groups. We're gonna get some help from the black keys to make this work. So notice that the black keys are all the way going across the keyboard in groups of twos and threes, alternating two, three, two, three, continuously. Let's take any group of two and look at the three notes that surround it. The three white keys surrounding the two groupings of black keys are C, D, E. So play those C, D, E. Play them backwards. E, D, C. Now this next exercise is really very cool. Go to the lowest group of C, D, E on your piano and play it. Now find the next highest C, D, E and play that. And the next one. Next, 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 and so on. As far as you can with your keyboard, you might have a not an entirely full keyboard, it doesn't matter. Even if you can get in just three or four, this exercise works just great. So when you get really comfortable with your CDE, the next group is the four white keys that surround the groups of three black keys, F, G, A, B. Do the same work. Practice them all in a row going up, F, G, A, B. Practice them coming down, B, A, G, F. And then 
run across the entire keyboard. It start from the lowest, moving to the next highest, to the next highest, or you can start from the highest and work your way down. Either way, this is a great exercise and you learn in groups and thinking of them as C, D, E, F, G, A, B, much easier than trying to do each of the seven notes separately. So work with that, have some fun with it. Then the next thing that you wanna to start to look at is all the keys. So now we're gonna be moving by step, sort of the way we did initially, when we just used the white keys like this. Only now we're going to move consecutively to the absolutely nearest key, including if it's a black key. So instead of starting from C and having this, we're going to have this. This is called moving by half steps. And when you have a string of half steps, that is called a chromatic scale. Chroma because that is Greek for colors because we are technically using all the colors. In other words, all the notes that we use in Western music. So practice the chromatic scale moving up and then back down. My recommendation is practice that a lot, even if it feels really easy. The next thing we're gonna do is something a little bit more advanced. And the better you know your chromatic scale, the better this next part's going to be. So now you're going to be doing the whole tone scale. Remember that two halves in math together combine to equal a whole. And it is exactly the same thing in music. So if you start, let's say from C and move up a half step, and another half step. Now from C, you've just moved up a whole step. So now you wanna practice moving up whole steps. As you can see, C to D is a whole step. And D to E is also a whole step because we passed a half step black key to get to the E. But when you're moving from a white key to a white key that doesn't have a black key in the middle, you are now moving again by half step. So as long as there's a black key in the middle, your consecutive white keys are a whole step. So practice getting used to that. Also notice that sometimes your whole steps, such as from E, will be moving up to a black key. So some of your whole steps will be white key to black key, and they can also be, of course, black key to white key, if there is another white key in the middle. Then, with your black key to black key, there are never any half steps. The smallest distance will be a whole step. That is when you have one white key in the middle. What you wanna practice is getting used to the half steps and the whole steps. So if you start with these, you're going to have, in a very short period of time, a lot of really important first steps under your belt. So work on these, have a lot of fun with them. If you have any questions at all, please drop a comment below. I do read the comments. I am doing this really to help people to get from point A to point B, especially if they've tried in the past and never had much luck with it. You can do this, okay? So drop any questions that you have and I will absolutely be there and do my best to help you. Enjoy yourself, have lots of fun. Music is the greatest thing in the world and music theory is the greatest thing in the world. So work on that and um, I'll see you next time.